Welcome back. Hi. Lesson 21. I am determined to see things differently. Oh, we're getting good here. <laughs> <laughs> the idea for today is obviously a continuation and extension of the preceding one. This time, however, specific mind searching periods are necessary in addition to applying the idea to particular situations as they arise. Five practice periods are urged, allowing a full minute for each. In the practice periods, begin by repeating the idea to yourself. I am determined to see things differently. Then close your eyes and search your mind carefully for situations past, present, or anticipated, which arouse anger in you. The anger may take the form of any reaction ranging from mild irritation to rage. The degree of the emotion you experience does not matter. You will become increasingly aware that a slight twinge of annoyance is nothing but a veil drawn over intense fury. Wow. <laughs> no difference there. Okay. Try therefore not to let the quote little thoughts of anger escape you in the practice periods. Remember that you do not really recognize what arouses anger in you and nothing that you believe in this connection means anything. You will probably be tempted to dwell more on some situations than on others on the fallacious grounds that they are more quote obvious. This is not so. It is merely an example of the belief that some forms of attack are more justified than others. As you search your mind for all the forms in which attack thoughts present themselves, hold each one in mind and tell yourself, I am determined to see, insert name of person, differently. So I am determined to see my ex differently. I am determined to see, specify the situation differently. I am determined to see my termination differently. Try to be as specific as possible. You may, for example, focus your anger on a particular attribute of a particular person, believing that the anger is limited to this aspect. If your perception of the person is suffering from this form of distortion, say, I am determined to see and then specify the attribute in, insert the name of the person, differently. So I'm determined to see, what would that be? I'm, just, I'm determined to see the selfishness mm -hmm. in my mother differently. Mm -hmm. right? I'm or I'm determined to see the judgmental nature mm -hmm. in my mother differently or my Yes. My friend or my partner or whoever, right? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Right. Good. It's very straightforward, isn't it? Yeah. Just asking, is there anything? Just to watch the thoughts instead of just applying that idea to situations that come up, searching our mind for triggers and looking at it and saying, I'm determined to see things differently. And he's not even asking us to go past that, just that there's another way to see it. Right. Right. And I think what I'm just going back in my <laughs> archives in my mind, trying to look at what, um, how did I see this when I first began? Uh, I, I, I've got to um, admit here that I didn't understand it. Mm -hmm. I really, I, it didn't make any sense to me at all. Yeah. It didn't. Um, but it wasn't until later that. It, you know, the penny dropped, so to speak. And I was like, wow, oh, he really uh, knows what he's talking about. <laughs> wow. Uh, and it's interesting too, because I remember vaguely back then going, okay, so I've got to do this lesson with the people that trigger me. And I had a couple at the time who triggered me greatly. Mm -hmm. um, if if I'm to be radically honest, I found that that there was uh, satisfaction in um, in my justifying my anger for them. 
so this lesson kind of diffused that a bit, which I was a bit, a bit pissed about at the time. Right. <laughs> I'm just being yeah. honest, all right? Yeah. It's like, oh, what? Okay. So, you know, it's, it's, it, how can I say this? Is that that feeling of, you know, satisfaction, mm -hmm. feeling, and it is ego satisfaction. Mm. When, when we really believe that we're justified in our anger, if, if somebody, even Holy Spirit tries to rob out us of that justification. Oh. The ego comes out swinging. Oh, you better believe it. <laughs> yes. yeah. Because it's justified, right? You can almost taste the deliciousness of self-justification. You know that you're right and your brother is wrong and this is why you know it. And heck, you may have even proved it, right? So I you are totally self-justified. <laughs> yes. And that, but that just keeps the, that line of separation going, right? This whole point is we came from one into separation. So the return about is from separation back into oneness and the ego is highly um, upset <laughs> about this decision to undo it and through union. And so it's going to put up all kinds of barbs and barriers to our practice. So it's almost like I am determined um, to let go of that self-justification, all of my judgments, all of my opinions, all those things that I swear that I know that have made the separate self, you know, what it is. Yeah, highly threatening to the ego. It is, but nothing can be healed. Mm -hmm. You can see it, right? right? Nothing can be healed by Holy Spirit until we offer him the willingness to see these uh, justified, to see the, see our own or the ego's mm -hmm. uh, justification for anger right. differently. We have to be willing to see it the way he sees it. Mm -hmm. And the beautiful thing is that as we um, advance in these lessons, and, and uh, apply them practically to everything in our life, all our relationships as well. What we, what we are astounded, you know, joyfully astounded to find is that it, it, we may think we've kind of begun to forgive one person. It might be a parent or a sibling or an ex or whatever. And then later on down the line, we are flabbergasted to find that it's not just that relationship that's been healed, mm -hmm. you know, right. that there are there are other relationships that were miraculously healed, and we have no idea how that happened. Mm. <laughs> There's the miracle, right? Right. We right. only offered well, we offered Holy Spirit back then. Yeah. Our little willingness. Yes. To to see differently, to see see things differently, and to do a bit of forgiveness. And then it was just an amazing ripple effect. Mm -hmm. Right. And I can really feel why he's used those words, you know, the salvation of the world depends upon this because we need some incentive to want to release all of those things, our self-justification and judgment in the beginning, right? It's like, well, this, you know, this, this is really mine and I really hold dearly to this thought. And he's saying, but if you're willing to simply you know, accept that there's another way to see it and become de determined to see what that other view is. This is the salvation of the world. Oh, okay. So my little self-justification or the salvation of the world, you know, <laughs> what do you want really? So we're loosening up that tight grasp, the ego's grasp. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you. Oh, I think that's a great lesson. Yeah, so helpful. Thanks, sis. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. All right. Lesson 21. I am determined to see things differently. Have fun with the exercises. <laughs> Bye. Bye.